is up y'all how y'all doing out there it is me once again your girl tiffany and i'm back at it y'all i'm back at it with some more videos like i said on my last video just expect more videos I'm trying to stay consistent with this channel um i did put out two more youtube channel um i got me a fashion channel going on and i also got me a fitness channel going on so yeah um i'll probably link those uh, channels down below I'm probably not still new to this I'm not true to this so I'm still trying to learn but yeah how y'all doing out there really how is y'all doing how y'all been since the last video go ahead drop it in the comments how y'all been is it anything that your girl could do for you is it an ear I could loan I definitely have it so if you haven't already by now try to figure out what this video is this video you guys is just seven things seven ways seven tricks seven advices however you want to take that to break generational curses now it is a kind of late i started my day off a little late today but i did want to put this video up like i said i'm trying to stay consistent y'all so go ahead stick to the video like i say on all my videos you won't be disappointed got some game for you Let's get this started, alright? Alright, y'all. I don't know what it is about me doing videos in my backyard. Knowing I got chicken, roosters, dogs, all kinds of animals on the other side of the fence. And they always seem to get louder as I start to do my videos. Like, I just came out here 10 minutes ago. It was quiet. But, yeah, whatever. I guess they want to be on the videos, too. So the first thing that you guys could do to try to break these generation curses that have been in our family for so long, um, my family included. Um, so the first thing that I have decided to do to break the generational curse that I have in my family is seek help. Um, I have learned and I have uh, figured it out and I have accepted that a lot of my stuff, can you please be quiet? A lot of my stuff and a lot of the things that I'm going through now as an adult, I didn't want to um, accept it then. It took me a long time to accept it, like 39 years, pushing 40 years to accept it. Um, but I accept it, that I have been a problem for a long time. Um, it had wore off on my kids to the point that um, I, was, I had a mask on. I didn't lock my gate. I had a mask on. Like, I was walking around with a mask. Like, everything was all right. And in reality, everything wasn't all right. Like, I'll be on this emotional roller coaster for so many, so many years, you guys. I don't even want to count the years that I have been going through, the things that I have been going through. But I was wearing the mask. And I finally took that mask off. Um, I do pray. I do meditate. I do work out. But it, it hasn't been consistent, just like my videos. It hasn't been consistent. Um, but one thing that I did, and I did it recently, I reached out to a therapist. I reached out to a therapist. Um, I know that they could give me tips and tools that could help me with my emotions and help me with different things and help me with my childhood neglect. You know, I don't want, even though I have a 23-year-old um, son, 18-year-old daughter, and a 13-year-old son, it's not too late to change. And that's what I'm trying to do now because I don't want the cycle to continue. I don't want my grandbabies to go through what my kids went through, even though they had such a good life to me. Um, but I know it was some things that I could have changed. Now today and right now is not the time to feel guilty. I don't need no pity party. I don't need none of that. The first thing that you have to do and that I did was just seek help. Seek professional help. And if you own Medicare or if you have any insurance, and most likely in your city they have, I mean they have apps. I mean it's people that will talk to you about what you're going through, baby. Seek the help that you need. Seek the help that you need, especially before you start a family because you don't want to um be toxic hook up with somebody toxic and then have toxic babies let's stop that right now let's stop that trend all right seek some help it's okay it's okay the person that you are right now is not the person that you're going to be seek some help realize that sometimes we need help and as women we put so much on our plate as women, as mothers, as girlfriends. 
that the world owe us. They owe they they they, they owe us. And the world deserves your voice. It does it, it deserves so much. So go ahead. That's the number one thing. Reach out, baby. That's the first most important thing. You could pray all all day. And prayer help. Please do not get me wrong. I start my day off every day with a prayer. And it helps. But it's so much that God could do. He uses moving, walking vessels to help you. Sometimes he uses people to help his people. So get that help. Alright? Alright right, y'all. So the number two thing, the second thing that's on my list of just things that we can do to break these generational curses that have hindered our family lines for so long. I don't know if it's you. I don't know if it's somebody that you know. Maybe it's somebody that you're dealing with. Um, maybe it's somebody that you, it, maybe it's just somebody that you might deal with in the future that you have deal with before you no longer deal with them and you didn't know what was going on. It could have been that generational curse that's been in that generation for so long. So if you could help somebody and you know you can help somebody do that, impact the world, all right? Like I probably say on the rest of these videos, one person pain is the next person experience. So... If it's something you can do, reach out and help. So the second thing, y'all, because I like to ramble on. That's why I'm about to start this broadcast, y'all. So the second thing, y'all, is, and this is something that I'm dealing with, that I'm going to talk to my therapist about, is just dealing with your childhood neglect. Your childhood traumas. Your, your, your just, just your mommy and daddy issues. And everybody has mommy and daddy issues. Don't get me wrong. You grow up with them. My mom hugged me too much. She didn't hug me enough. My dad wasn't there. He was overbearing. I mean, everybody has them. Everybody, some of them are good, some are bad. But the ones that we grow up with, that neglect that we grow up with, we could, we could grow up with this neglect and we didn't handle it as kids and it'll affect the relationships that we have now as adults. So handle your childhood traumas. Make peace with it so you can be a better you. That's the second thing you can do to stop, to cut, 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 cut it out. Cut these childhood generational curses, man. We got to do better. Let our next, the, the next generation, the people that come under you know that it is a way that you could do better. All right? Let's, let's handle them childhood traumas. Second thing. All right, y'all. So we are on the number third thing, the number three thing on this list. It might get windy and stuff, so I better hurry. No, but the number three thing, you guys, and this is something that I'm dealing with on my own. Most of these videos that I put up are about me or about somebody in my circle. Yeah, it's obviously not nobody I drink them, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make a video about them. No, it's usually about me. My children, my man, my mom. Sometimes it's about people that I meet at the store, but it's always an interacting with somebody that brings these videos up. Alright. So the number third thing, the third the third the, the the three, the number third thing, I don't know why I'm getting tongue tied, that's on my list of ways to break these generational curses, y'all. And don't get me wrong, it's definitely more than seven, but this is a seven channel. Like the seven choices channel so i'm just using seven all right so the number third thing is ask for help ask for help for so long i've been thinking i could do this by myself i could do these videos by myself i could raise these kids by myself i can love myself which i can but ask for help it's okay to ask for help especially to my single mothers being a single mother before before I met my boyfriend, he's been in my life for the last 10 years. My son was 13, my daughter was 8, and my youngest was 3. So yes, ask for help. Ask for help because I never did it. Even to this day, I don't ask for help. I don't ask for the help that's given to me. Reach out to your family. They want to hear. Get into a group. Ask for help, baby. There's no way that you should have to do this alone. It's hard. It hurts when you do it by yourself. It's so much easier when you ask for help and it's people really genuine out there really ready to help. Alright? But that's the number three thing. It's just ask for help. Ask for help. Reach out. Go to church. Ask for help.
for help. You cannot do this alone. Stop holding so much in. Just thinking, oh my God. Just putting the world on your shoulders. That leads to depression, anxiety. Ask for help. Alright? Third thing on my list. Alright, you guys. So we are on that number four thing that's on your girl's list of just things that I'm about to do to break this generational curse. You know, just something that I'm trying. I have been implicating in my own life. Maybe it can help you guys. That's it. So the number four thing that's on this list, you guys, is invest. Invest in yourself. Invest in your future. Even if you're 20, 19, 25, 30, 35, 50, it's never too late to invest. God did not put you on this earth to be average. Invest. Take vacations. Get out the hood. Quote, unquote, the ghetto. What the Caucasian people tried to the hood get out the neighborhood quote unquote the hood get out the projects invest in yourself baby it's more to world it's more to life it's more to everything than what you are seeing right now if you want to break them generational curses you have to want more you have to see more invest invest in your skin invest in your clothes invest in your boyfriend invest in your girlfriend invest in your future what do you want to do? What do you want to do three, six, nine, twelve months from now? Don't let your future pass you by. Don't. And one thing I never like to say to my kids is I want you to be better than me. I never liked that growing up. I never like to hear people say that to their kids because, baby, I don't want you to be better than me. I just want you to be you. You don't need to be better than me. Just be you. That's what's wrong with us now. We're trying to be better than the next person. And then when we get to that level, we forget about everybody else. No, baby, invest in you. And when you invest in you, invest in somebody else. Whatever you learn and know, invest in it. And if you can make money off of it too in the long run, oh, oh, do that. But invest. Invest your time. Invest your energy. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get into it. But that is the number fourth thing. Let me hurry up and get on down to the number fifth, sixth, or seventh thing. All right. Okay. All right, y'all. So we are on the number fifth thing that's on your girl's list of seven things you can do to break them generation curses. And the seven things you could do. Wait, hold on. We on number five. Now, but the fifth thing you could do on my list, y'all. And this is something your girl's struggling with through this day. Is trust yourself. Trust your abilities to change. Trust in yourself. Trust in the process. Know that God didn't bring you wherever you're at in your life to, to leave you there. You have to know that. You have to trust your abilities to be better. Do better. If you messed up, you failed, you made a mistake, that's okay. We all have. Pick yourself back up. Put your big girl's pennies back on our drawers. I don't know. Boxers. Whatever they wear nowadays. Put them back on. Put your feelings in your shoes. And walk on them. Alright? Trust your abilities. Forgive yourself. We all make mistakes. Everybody has a story. Like I tell my kids. Everybody has a story just like everybody has an asshole and excuses are just like assholes everybody has one my 23 year old son to tell you I've been telling that to him since he was a little boy if I brought him out here right now and asked him what have I always told you which is a couple of things but one thing is that I told him trust in yourself all right let go of the excuses this is someone who's talking that just been diagnosed with depression, anxiety. Not like I didn't wake up and say I'm stressed out, blah 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 blah. Like, like it was really some, my mental health was, yeah, it's about to go there. So, trusting your abilities, want to change. That's a curse you could break. If you've been modeling something for so long, you've been in an environment, you grew up seeing something for so long, you can start imitating that. It'll start looking real, smelling real good to you. But only you have the ability to change. And I need you to trust that. 
trust that is more in you than what's in you. Trust that God created everybody with a destiny. Alright? If you want to be a teacher, if you want to be a YouTuber, if you want to be an author, if you want to be an actor or actress, do the best that you can do at it. Because God put a dream in every... We need people that mow lawns. R.I.P. to my landscaper that just passed last year. But we need landscapers. Be the best landscaper. He was the bomb. Yes, he was. If you want to be a mother, be the best mother. You can't be a perfect mother because there's no such thing. Just be the best. And trust your abilities of whatever you have, whatever's in your heart. Trust in your ability that it will come to pass. <gasps> Alright, so that's the fifth thing. Alright, we're about to go to the sixth thing. I'm almost done, y'all. So, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, and let's go ahead and get to the sixth thing. Alright, you guys, so we are on the sixth thing on my list. Almost done. At the bottom of the list. At the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, we are on that last thing of seven things you can do to break them generational curses that might be over you, over someone you love, whatever it may be. I'm the girl for it, all right? So, the sixth thing that's on my list is connect with your emotions. It's too many of us, women, men, children, baby, adults, elderly, whatever. It's too many of us that didn't deal with our emotions. So now, we're dealing with our emotions and we don't know how. We confuse anger with being mad. We confuse being happy with joy. Identify your emotions, baby. Don't get to where you are point to where you're in jail. You no longer could deal with your emotions in jail because the people are talking. Don't wait till you, 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 you're dead. Now your family got to deal with it. Deal with your emotions. Deal with the emotional neglect that you might have had as a child. You might didn't get hugged when you was a kid. Your mama and your daddy probably didn't tell you that they love you. I'm sorry for that. But your heavenly father loves you. Your heavenly father holds you and hugs you all day long. Get in touch with them emotions. I see too many of my black men, especially, that let one second of the emotion get them into a lifetime of trouble. If it's a female or a male that got you out your body, got your emotions out, let them go. If they not serving you, they hurting you. If they not helping you, they hurting you. Deal with the emotions, deal with them, and get them out so you can be better. Deal with the emotions. It's never too late. I'm pushing 40, and I'm starting to deal with my emotions a little bit different than I did with last year. Last year, I would have went all off the handle. This year, I'm learning to breathe. Like my eyelash, tail, the eyelash tech told me today, turn around, breathe for three, three seconds, and then handle your business. You feel what I'm saying? Deal with the emotions, but you be somewhere you don't want to be. Alright. Alright, you guys. So the number seven thing, and we are at the end of this video. And for the last couple of seconds, them damn animals, roosters, chickens, turtles, sheep, dogs, cats have not made a noise. But now the wind is picking up, so I need to hurry up. But the number seven thing, you guys, and this is the end of this video. If you have more ideas, more things that you did in your family, more things that helped you, please share. Please share. I would love to make more videos to be continued mostly on all my videos. Because, of course, it's seven, it's more than seven ways to do a lot of things. But my videos need to be short because I, I like to talk. And seven is one of my lucky numbers besides three. So that's where the seven came, you know, on the seven day. Jesus, God, he rested. So uh, that's what I said. Okay. But anyways, the number seven thing is find something to love that's not you. Find something to love unconditionally. 
Go take care of your elderly grandparents. Go next door and see about your neighbor. Go get you a cat. Go get you a dog. Find you a fish. Just find something that you could take care of besides you. Now, I'm not saying go on and go have a baby. All right? That's a whole nother video on this set. A, a baby, you definitely can love a baby. That's a, that's a love that's, oh baby, yes. That love between a mother and a child or a father and a child is, that's a whole nother video. I have three of them. And I also have four pets. And I have a bonus son. And I have a bonus daughter. And I have a bonus granddaughter. But... What I'm saying, you guys, when you find something besides yourself to love, that is a curse that's broken upon itself. When you could go through the days of life, you could go through the struggles, you could go through the depression, you could go through the anxiety, you could go through the don't knows, the who knows, the why knows, and still find that love to give to somebody else that you probably haven't got. That you probably don't have. Find some. Go outside and smell the plants. Get some air. Get that vitamin D. That vitamin D. Not that other vitamin D. That one's good too though. That one's good too. But we're on generational curses. So I shouldn't even say that. I'm probably trying to edit it out. I don't know. I'm not too good at edit. But get you some vitamin D. The sun baby. Love the sun. Love coming out. Me I love nature. I love it. I love cats, I love dogs, I love babies. Because they, they they know no wrong. So that's why I love them with a little bit. Just, you know, I love my dog. No matter how much I say, socks get away from me. Socks stop, socks. That dog still loves me with his tail wagging. Unconditional love. Unconditional love, y'all. Experience it. Break them curses, all right? So I'm about to end this video because I think I went over my time. I'm at three. I hope that, I don't know. See, I'm still new to this. I'm not true to this, not yet. The consistency will make me true. But go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, and until the next video, you guys, which should be in two to three days, y'all be you. Be you, it looks better, it smells better. Yeah, it looks better. <laughs> be you, baby. Smile more. Go outside, get dressed, love yourself. <laughs> Even if he or she wouldn't, girl, boy, love you. All right? And until the next video, y'all be careful, like I say. Don't be safe. Safes get broken into. Be careful. Be careful in whatever you do. Just like I'm about to be careful and go in the house and go shut my gate because I'm here alone. So yeah, bye y'all.